source of truth. Finally, Christianity is based upon truly the most amazing event in all of human history. The resurrection. There are other points I will share here to prove my points. Like, religions contradict each other, therefore, they cannot all be true. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So, right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. Before we get into the reaction, because we want to thank everybody out there for giving us 7,400 subscribers with the real MVP. And also, if you're new to this channel, we are Fanny and Jesse, and we do a lot of reaction videos. If you have any type of reaction, just let us in the comment section below, and we're gonna do it for you. And also, uh, we want to thank the people who are giving us reactions. You're the realest MVP too, man. Thank you, thank you so much for giving us reaction. And <clears throat> so right about now, what we're going to do, we are going to actually react to why we believe in Christianity over other religions. I mean, uh, a lot of people gave us this uh, suggestion and uh, we felt like, let's just do it. Yeah, so without any further ado, let's get it. Welcome back viewers. In this video, I'm going to show some unique claims which only Christianity can make. Critics often ask, why Christianity is any better than any other religion in the world? If God exists, why can't God use different religions? Don't all paths lead to God? Of all the religions that exist, how can it be that only Christianity is true? Therefore, in an attempt to demonstrate why Christianity is true, and all other religious systems are false, I've prepared the following list of reasons. First, all other religions exhort man to reach up to God and grasp hold of him through their own efforts. Christianity is the only religion where God reaches down to man. Second, other religions are systems of do's and don'ts to appease God. Whereas Christianity is a relationship with God. Third, Christianity looks to the Bible as the singular source of truth. Finally, Christianity is based upon truly the most amazing event in all of human history. The Resurrection. There are other points I will share here to prove my points. Like, religions contradict each other, therefore, they cannot all be true. Mormonism and Hinduism teaches that there are many gods in existence, and that you can become a god. Christianity teaches that, there is only one God, and you cannot become a God. Islam teaches that, Jesus is not God in flesh, where Christianity does. Some religions teach that, we reincarnate, while others do not. Some teach there is a hell, and others do not. They cannot all be true. Remember, truth does not contradict itself. If God exists, he will not institute mutually exclusive and contradictory belief systems in an attempt to get people to believe in him. In 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 33 says, God is not the author of confusion, but some religion confuses in its own teaching, like Hinduism, Buddhism, Mormonism, Islam, and many more. Though, there are other religions that have prophecies in them, none are 100% accurate as is the Bible, and none of them point to someone like Jesus, who made incredible claims and performed incredible deeds. The Old Testament was written hundreds of years before Jesus was born, yet, the Old Testament prophesied many things about Jesus. This is undoubtedly evidence of divine influence upon the Bible. You can see some verses in the description below. There are approximately 2,500 prophecies in the Bible. About 2,000 of which already have been fulfilled till present, with no errors. The remaining 500 or so reach into the future, and may be seen unfolding as days go by.
The Bible is historically testable. Historical evidence routinely includes ancient literature, business records, and government documents, analyzed in conjunction with linguistics, geography, and archaeological analysis of physical objects, like pottery, coins, remains of buildings, ancient names of places and peoples, etc., using forensic science techniques. After many millions of man-hours of research and evidence analysis, Archaeology has repeatedly confirmed the reliability of the Bible. The Bible has been proven geographically, and reproven historically accurate, in the most exacting detail, by external evidences. And there are so many evidences, by which we can know the exclusive claims about Christianity. In my conclusion, the resurrection is proof of who Jesus is, and that he did accomplish what he set out to do, provide the only means of redemption for mankind. Buddha did not rise from the dead. Muhammad did not rise from the dead. Confucius did not rise from the dead. Krishna did not rise from the dead. Only Jesus has physically risen from the dead, walked on water, claimed to be God, and raised others from the dead. He has conquered death. Only in Christianity, do we have the person of Christ, who claimed to be God, performed many miracles to prove his claim of divinity, died and rose from the dead, and claimed that, he alone is, the way the truth and the life, and that no one comes to the Father, except through him. Thanks for watching this video. If you really understand my video, like, share, and, subscribe this channel, to know more about Christianity. Goodbye. What do you think? I don't think Christians believe that. How do you say that? He's the guy Christian. And he's just making an analysis of the different religions. Oh, he's making an analysis of why believing Christians over other religions. This is why um, there's so much confusion in the world. We always sit down and assume this person thinks this and that. Mm -hmm. This religion believes this and that. I feel like if people haven't experienced something, they shouldn't really speak about it. He yeah. spoke about also Christians or Christianity believing in resurrection. What's the difference with what Muslims believe in? Life after death, what's it called? Reincarnation? Who believes in reincarnation? Islam? They do. They don't? Reincarnation. Life, Life after death is reincarnation, right? Yeah, don't they? Yeah, I think so, I don't know. So who believes in reincarnation? Life. I found that says they believe in being reborn as something else. That was Hinduism. That it was? Yeah, not Islam. It's Hinduism. With in Buddhism, no Hinduism. Yeah. But whatever the case... Um, but Christians <coughs> believe in life after death. Yes, and... Yeah. I don't know about Islam. Muslims believe um, in Jesus. Yeah. So what does that say? He should have made those comparisons as well. But it's they, like they, each, they each religion picks something from the other religion. They believe that Jesus uh, came as a spirit, but not flesh. I think so. Say so. I don't know what the he guy was saying. No, he 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 is he is erected as a spirit, not flesh. So it's who? I don't know. Maybe I'm confusing myself, but maybe I'm confusing myself. So There's just I mean, too many misconceptions out there. Yeah. I mean, anyone can sit down and make a video saying Muslims, Christians are the worst people in the world, while Buddhists are the best. For this religion, and he also made mention of Christian Christians believe Christianity is the best religion in the world. What I don't understand, what makes I don't someone? Think the Bible has ever made such a claim. What makes someone think that my religion is the best out of your religion, or his religion is the worst religion? You get it? I mean, who who gives you the authority to do that? You get it? Only God knows. 
that's why I applaud yeah. um, Dr. Zaid May for not wanting to bring out yeah. all these differences. Only God knows because, because you don't separate you people and you won't want to sit down and listen to what the other person has to say. We might be doing all these things, but probably even the true religion is not even within within the this religion that we are we are in right now. This five religions probably is something else. Maybe it was just you know what believe in God and that's it. You get it. But anyway, people have different beliefs. All those beliefs we respect them. You know. Uh, equally because you can't start saying that religion is bad. No, you don't know about it. No, nobody knows. We, we don't have the answers. At the end of the day, we don't have the answers. Let's respect each other. Let's try to just, you know, be brothers and sisters, help each other. And, you know, that's the most important thing in life. Yeah. I mean, if you feel like you're reacting to this video, the better way is to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down in our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction, what do you feel about this video right here? Why believe in Christianity over all other religions? Just let us know in the comment section below. What do you think? What do you think of what this guy has said? And if you have any kind of comments, just let us know in the comment section below. And the most important thing guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Then we keep on subscribing, then we we'll give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give us a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're gonna see you in the next video. And peace out.